Hello, my name is Dr. Tim Nuttall and today I'm going to talk about viral load and what you need to know with regards to your own safety and the safety of those around you. I'll explain how it relates to infectivity and severity of disease and also what its possible implications are with regards to the future management of the COVID-19 pandemic. As before, this information is, is as accurate as I could possibly make it, but because of the speed and the nature of the way that it's coming out, it's maybe not as accurate as sometimes we might hope. Basically, I've been asked to explain viral load and if you need to be worried about it. So what is viral load? Simply put, it's just the number of virus particles in an amount of fluid. In COVID-19, that's how much there is in their plasma or in the sputum in their nose or their throat. It's used to monitor the progress of disease in a patient or to compare one patient to another, looking at how it relates to the disease severity or its infectivity. I want to put in another definition, which is that of infective dose. This is the number of virus particles that you need to catch in order to cause the disease. If you need a few, the disease is more infected. If we think of the infective dose as the spark, the viral load is the fire. Once you've been infected by a big enough infective dose of virus, the virus replicates in the cells of your body. The extent to which it does this determines the viral load. If the fire is your viral load, how bright it is, is the concentration. Contagion happens when you get an adequate infective dose from someone who's shedding virus that someone with a high viral load, i.e. with more virus in them, would be a bigger shedder of virus and they would be more contagious. People with a high viral load will be shedding more and therefore more contagious than people with a low viral load. And it does seem to correlate that people with a high viral load do get more symptoms and a worse flu. It does seem though that COVID-19 has a low infective dose and is therefore easier to catch. Less spark is needed to light the fire. However, as well as the highly contagious high viral load symptomatic sick people, there's also a group of people who are high shedding, highly infective, but with no symptoms. So this plus the low infective dose, why the virus is spread so effectively and also silent and often not knowing where you caught it from. So what does this mean? So currently there is no treatment for COVID-19. All we can do is support patients until their own bodies fight the disease. That's why the vulnerable with their weak immune response are dying. We need to limit person-to-person -person contact as much as possible, even if the other person is well, and practice social distancing going out as little as possible. There is another question, and that is, do you get a worse disease if you're infected with a higher infection dose? could well be the case and it is certainly with other COVID viruses and the influenza virus. For most of us this makes no difference. But for healthcare workers who are exposed to multiple high exposures of people with high infectivity it could explain why a proportion of them are getting very sick. Is another reason to be rigorous with your social distancing. Please protect the people who are looking after you. So for everyone's sakes until the next video Please stay inside and please stay well.